Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to put your poppers on a leash, man, because you never know. They might come after your poppers as well, guys. Yay! First, they tried wokeness in comics. It failed. They tried wokeness in movies. It failed. And right now, they're trying it in video games. And guess what? It's failing. Fantastic. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because you see, today we had a crazy report. I couldn't even believe it, okay, when I first heard this. Shout out to the homie Hypnotic, we're hearing that Concord open beta player count declined by 8% on PlayStation compared to its early access beta. What? What? How is that even possible right now? How is that even possible? I refuse to believe it initially, but right now I'm, I'm convinced that the modern audience don't exist, ladies and gentlemen. So you're saying, to understand the situation, right? The, when it was on, let's just say, for people that, that pre-ordered the game, right? So people that pre-ordered the game, they, they upped the beta for people that had the game pre-ordered. So it was doing like 1,000 people, 2,000 people, right? You know what I'm saying? Like they were playing the game. But when they put it out for free, it saw an 8% decline. How? Oh, roll it. it is time to talk about Concord yet again in the open beta numbers that officially have been released and talked about regarding PlayStation. Now, we usually only get the Steam numbers, and yeah. we don't actually have the full PlayStation numbers, but I got to tell you, from the numbers that we do have, it is showcasing exactly what we've been saying about the new DEI shooter Concord and that it is going to be a massive flop of epic proportions and the first ever and last ever video game from Firewalk Studios. Don't yeah. let the door hit you on the way. Doc, could you imagine, like, I'm pretty sure there have been some very, very passionate devs working on this game, right? Passionate, I know that's right, yeah. But at least one or two of them gotta be passionate. At least some of, the, some of the devs gotta be passionate working on this game, right? Why? You don't like your job? You wanna lose your job? Because how many times we have heard this that they let activists they hire activists make games for the gamers and ultimately the gamers don't want those games games want games being made by people that are actually gamers they they want games made for gamers right yeah crazy insanity right insane insane want from gamers they just want good games simple as that right so they let activists make their games and ultimately they quickly find out that people are not liking the game and then they go out of business and then oh man they have to shut down their studios and even then they don't learn and you know who has the last laugh at the end it's not us the gamers because ultimately we're we're getting all this crap uh, shoved down our throat as well we don't like it we we have one less game to play yeah i technically i i guess our wallet's staying closed right like we're saving our money i guess that's a that's a blessing right there thank thank you for saving us money yeah thank you thank you thank you but but dog who, you know who has the last laugh companies like sweet baby inc because they ruin your project they're getting paid for ruining your project because these sickers are not getting the the memo here right these sickers are paying activists like sweet baby Ing, and ultimately they ruin their project and then they have nobody playing their game they lose money and in some cases they have to then shut down their studios and then lose their job which sucks though like i i don't want to see any of any people lose their job uh, and lose their ability to put food on the table yes absolutely i don't want to see any of these seconds even if i disagree with you like i don't want to see you lose your job oh yeah right but then sweet baby inc is like okay you know what let's go ahead and ruin another game let's get paid for ruining another game they have the last lap because they got to ruin games they got to ruin uh, people's uh, hobby and they get paid for it and then they get the chance to ruin another game oh my god i cannot believe it man i cannot compute it brothers i cannot compute it it's my last video where we were talking about some of the employees at firewalk studios you probably didn't see it because this channel is currently be uh, getting massively shadow banned due to me covering the uh, ava chris tyson situation over at mr beast yeah youtube's not exactly happy they gave me a good old warning and uh spent me down quite a bit where i've lost about 200,000 views a day but Holy. that's besides the point i'm still going to be doing what i do and i'm going to talk about everything that i want to talk about including concord so apparently concord's open beta uh, we, we talked about that situation before the hypocrisy is real right now now i'm not defending dr disrespect but listen man we saw the cancellation on the likes of what what we have never seen before right dr disrespect got canceled so badly and chris tyson nothing really happened other than he's gonna step down and we're hearing it was a mutual decision mr b said that yeah they're firing him but but let's be real bro like come on now like you you ain't gotta 
they, they're not necessarily firing them he's just gonna stay off a little bit and maybe he's gonna come back he should never come back bro like he's not a good influence on the kids okay leave the kids alone and leave chris tyson out of it okay like chris tyson can live his life just just don't bring him in ever because we're talking mr b7 a channel which uh, primarily primarily uh, which whose primary audience is kids right so w w we're seeing this happen in real time right now the cancellation for dr disrespect off the charts all right for chris tyson nothing really happens yeah that's it actually did worse than its closed beta which is amazing because they were trying to say that oh things will get so much better with the, with the open beta because they're uh they're giving it to everybody right like the closed yeah. beta was only available to people who pre-ordered the game or who got a key from someone who pre-ordered the game mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. with the open beta it is available to everybody and thus it's going to be a massive success yeah that's not exactly how this worked so let's get into this article guys from that park place but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm Li like and subscribe like and subscribe yeah like and subscribe for the modern audience man yeah modern audience yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if you want to make the game for modern audience, well, you need to be ready for the modern audience to play the game as well, which comes down to 0.0008%. Yeah, so be happy with that. Be happy with that. Uh, Firewalk Studios. Them. A new report claims that Firewalk Studios Concord Open Beta had 8% less players than its early access beta on PlayStation. Mm. Kes Eiler Stevenson at True Trophies reports that the open beta, which ran from July 18th to the 21st, had 8% less players than the much more restricted early access beta that ran from July 12th to the 14th. Firewalk Studios initially limited the early access beta to those that pre-ordered the game. Yeah. However, it opened up to the PlayStation Plus subscribers. Nevertheless, the open beta was available to all uh, players on PS5 and PC. Mm -hmm. Stevenson writes, using a gameplay data sample from over 3.1 million active PSN accounts, courtesy of our partnership with Game Insights, we can see that Concord has 8.1% fewer players in the second open beta than in the early access beta. How is that even possible? You see, like, I, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a hard time believe the story because, like, yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what is going on? Man? Keep you keep your puppers on a leash, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, right. Like, so you're saying people that bought the game, uh, we had more people playing the game from people that bought the game, right? From the limited pre-ordered only beta access, right? So you had more people playing your game then versus when it became free to play that is crazy because like i'm not sure for how long you guys have been around if you're new welcome on in if you're og hey what's good man what's good man what's good man bumble clap pop 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 to the bumble clap brother God. very much jamaican homies ad though man you need to teach me some new slang as well man uh but but here's the thing though right like you probably heard me say this negativity actually attract and it's true generally speaking but but i don't know what's going on i feel like that gamers are getting older and i feel like that gamers are growing you know that that's that's progress right there that is a w thing that is a good thing so gamers are like okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna wait i'm gonna vote with my watch on uh, my play time right essentially i'm gonna vote with my wallets if i don't like a game i'm not gonna play it so this is unheard of right because back in the days though like whenever there would be this much negative marketing whenever suckers would hate on a game though like suckers would play it though Right, suckers would complain, but suckers would still play, and ultimately we would see the games uh, go. The games would blow up in sales. Games would blow up in player count. Right now, we're seeing the 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 complete opposite, which is just insane to me, and I love seeing that. I'm glad that gamers are waking up, man. W one thing that that is that is positive out of all of this is that gamers are reuniting finally. So that's good to see. Like the video if you agree. He added, in our PlayStation chart, that ranks the top 40 most popular games every week. Concord ranked in the number 29 position for both weeks, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, this brand new DEI team shooter, this game that is meant to be the most stunning and brave example of what happens when you get a whole lot of activists all working on one particular game together to make said game. This is... Uh, yeah, I I'm starting to hit the gym, guys. Don't get me... Don't, don't worry, man. I'm like... Um, it, it, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, man. I I'm, 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 wor I'm, wor I'm, I'm working out. I'm working out, man. I'm starting to work out, so... 
Uh, yeah. What happens, right? You make a DEI team shooter and people tell you that's not what they want. You call them bigots, you call them phobes, and whatever else under the sun. And then you get mad when you end up eventually having to close down the studio because you flopped drastically. This is going to be the same exact situation happening over and over so long as they keep doing this nonsense, yeah. right? And they're going yeah, to keep... gamers are toxic, right, guys? Yeah, gamers are toxic. Gamers are problematic. Gamers suck. Anyway, gamers are toxic. Yeah. Well, okay, <laughs> yeah, call your audience that, keep calling your audience that, bro, and your audience ain't gonna play your game, yeah, we ain't gonna play your game if you keep calling us toxic like that, bro, in nowhere this happens, bro, like, customer is considered like a god, bro, you treat the customer with respect, man, you're, like, trying your best to, you know, uh, there's a saying, customer is always uh, right, customer is never wrong, even when the customer is wrong. No, I'm not saying like if a customer is disrespect. If any small business owner person watching this video, no, I'm not saying that uh, if somebody's like entering and throwing bricks in your stores, <laughs> you should respect him. No, I'm not saying that. But generally speaking, right? Like generally speaking, metaphorically speaking, the customer is always right. But these suckers are like, okay, now gamers are toxic, bro. Gamers are wrong. Gamers are wrong. We'll tell gamers they are wrong. We'll tell them on a daily basis. Gamers are toxic. Don't play our games. And ultimately, when gamers don't play your game and you're like, hey, man, where are the gamers at? Where are the gamers at? Tough love, man. You, you guys deserve this. Ultimately, I would never say this. I don't want to see anybody lose their job. But at this point, bro, like, y'all just shot yourself on the foot, on the head by yourself bro you did it you did this to yourself bro make the games for gamers make a good game simple as that you know simple as that simple concept simple concept make the game doing for this gamers. nonsense because at the end of the day they're funded no matter what right these ceos these executives they're funded through dei yeah. money there is no doubt about it we have seen so many examples of funding coming from blackrock vanguard and every other company under the sun that invests in esg oriented funds they focus on things like this because it's important to them it absolutely is and not only that the ceos get all their money up front they don't have to wait to see if the game is successful in mm -hmm. order for them to make all the money in the world from the game they're gonna make and who really suffers in this case of course gamers uh, we lose the ability to buy another game right yeah i mean yeah times are tough guys times are tough but but now like ultimately who really suffers in this is the 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 actual passionate devs they are the ones that that are gonna be blamed you know what i mean right now they're gonna be blamed and ultimately they're gonna lose the, their their job as well the CEOs, the execs, oh, they, they wash their hands. Sweet Baby Inc., they're having the last laugh, so they get to ruin the games. <laughs> they, they get to ruin the games. That's probably the best job in the world, right? Like, imagine, could you imagine ruining somebody's project like that and, and getting paid for it and ultimately getting another chance to ruin someone else's project, right? Crazy stuff, right? Crazy stuff. You would think that logically, uh, with data that we have right now, they wouldn't let any third party come in and try to ruin project for example if i know somebody that want to ruin something that i have i wouldn't let them in you know what i mean if i have data if i have like clear writing if i have clear signals i'm seeing the signals i'm seeing the writing on the wall and i have data uh and we're seeing what somebody has done like i'm not gonna let that person in right but these are they, they are like oh man come on you man come on you come on yeah, yeah yeah let's let's destroy this game together fellas let's do that again just crazy stuff man crazy make stuff. everything due to the funding they're gonna make everything uh regardless of whether or not it actually succeeds and if the game succeeds that's just that's just extra right that's just extra on top of the amount of money that they're already gonna have from taking the funding money so it doesn't matter right none of this stuff matters at the end of the day man firewalk studios is going to be the same exact it's going to be like volition exactly like volition exactly like the studio that made forespoken and closed down and got absorbed by square enix they're all going to do the same exact thing now this report comes in the wake of steam db uh data showing that the peak concurrent players for the game on steam only hit 2388 on july 18th where the open beta went live by the end of the open beta the game was only hitting a peak concurrent of 1117 players i'm telling you right now there is no way and i mean absolutely no way that a live service shooter like concord is going to survive on just a couple of thousand players yeah. it is sincerely impossible i'm not just saying that to hate on the game it is <laughs> literally logically speaking it's over it's never been this joe over it's joe over fellas it is joe over it is joe over so 2300 people were playing all-time peak 
And now it's like 1100 people playing your game. Holy hell. Holy hell. Yeah, good luck. Uh, good luck uh, seeing these people buy your microtransactions, guys. Impossible. This game, even if it succeeds to the point where it can survive one or two seasons, it is going to die eventually very yeah. soon. It's only a matter of time. If that's yeah. your player base at your highest, what's going to happen when the honeymoon phase goes like mm. goes over? What's going to happen when people are over it after, you know, 60, 90 days and, and you know, you, you're going to be stuck with your, your few diehard players? What are you going to do? Milk the same 60 people who are going to be playing the game? They're going to be bored. And then eventually you're going to have to close the game down. I'm telling yeah. you right now, man, Firewalk Studios, I don't know how much money they invested in Concord. I haven't been able to find any numbers regarding to Yeah, some are saying between 50 million to 100 million, but that's like very vague. They, they have surely have spent money and don't make no, make, make no mistake, right? They surely have, but we don't know how much. Some are saying 50 million, between 50 and 100 million. For their budget, it seems like they're hiding it, of course. But I got to tell you, man, if they are going to invest this much money, it's supposed to be a AAA game. That's the oh, idea yeah. behind it anyway. So if this is a AAA game and they invested AAA money, they're screwed. They are so screwed. Even with all the ESG funding in the world, they're going to be so in the negative that they're going to have to eventually close down yeah. or get absorbed. That's really yeah. what's going to have to happen. Now, now, forget about the woke stuff and all that. Forget the politics behind it, the the, the, the agenda that they're pushing. I, I just don't understand, like, how... Yeah, how did we get here, bro? Like, we, we just wanted good games, though. You know what I mean? Like, just good games. It's just fun games to play. I, I, I don't know why they're not understanding that. It's just simple. Simple idea. Simple concept. Just make good games for gamers. Back in the days, we had so many good games, like good games after good games. It was very, very hard. Uh, I, I remember like uh, 10 years ago, uh, something like that. Okay, I'm, of course, my memory is foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, of course. Bruh. But but I remember going to Best Buy uh, around Boxing Day, so 26th of December. Games usually go on sales. Uh, some games were still not on sale. It's just like, you know what I mean, right? Like, everybody's going to buy. So I was like, okay, I'm going to save as a kid, right? I, I saved all my money and I went ahead and I bought five games, though. Oh, shit. I remember that. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was one of them. And I love that game. I'm talking about the PS3 days and we had online. So cops and robbers online. Oh, shit was lit, bro. And I bought like four other games as well. I don't remember other games. I remember Need for Speed, but I did. I do remember buying like other games. I believe one of the the game out of them was Call of Duty as well. One of the older Call of Duty games. I remember. And there were three other games that I bought it too. Yeah, life was simple, man. Like uh, I would just save my pocket money uh, and all that, and just spend it on games, bro. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like shit was simple, man. Life was simple. Life was beautiful, bro. But nowadays, it's like, I don't even know what game to buy. Of course, I'm waiting for GTA 6. I hope that game is not going to be super rogue, though. I hope that game... I hope they don't ruin that game. That's genuinely the only game that I'm really looking forward to. This year, I would say Black Ops. Bruh. But if that turns out to be bad, I'm not going to buy it. So the only game that I'm genuinely looking to buy is GTA 6. I don't know any other game right now. And I'm really, really searching right now. I'm not talking about the older games right now, okay? I'm not talking about games like Elden Ring or the games that are already out. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the upcoming games. I seriously have no clue what is that one good game that's back in the days you would have dozens of games to look forward to. Now there isn't even a single one. Uh, I want to know like how, what is that one game that you're genuinely looking for? Or you give, give me top five games that you're looking for. I can only think of Call of Duty Black Ops and uh, GTA 6 in that aspect. I don't know other games, uh, honestly, right now. I'm talking about the announced games uh, so far, right? Let, let, yeah, let me know your list in the comments. Uh, the game's early access also only hit a peak concurrent players of 1,124. That means the player base actually increased by 112%. However, sub-2,500 peak <laughs> concurrent players is not good for a free open beta for a game that will cost forty dollars when it goes on sale a month from now on august 23rd mm. now I've been, I've been saying that right here where, where's that this right here $40, the forty dollars yeah. is going to be the death note of this game there it's joe over it never has been this joe over bro there is no doubt about it why are you charging forty dollars for what all your other competitors are charging zero dollars for mm. if everybody else is free to play and you're the only idiot charging forty dollars <laughs> you better be so exceptional you better be top tier fucking gaming heaven for you to even think that you can charge forty dollars yeah. in a market but but see these fuck faces are not understanding that concept they are not understanding that even and see the the, the funniest thing here is that the game went on free to play and it's still 
<laughs> it has low people, lower people playing that the game in comparison to when it was pre-ordered only. That's just what? So even when it's free, they're gonna have a hard time. This is what it's telling us, right? This is what the data is telling us that even if it goes fully free to play, it's gonna be really, really hard. But these fuck faces are not on. Yeah, like they're still looking to charge people forty dollars. They're looking okay, to charge. That is dominated by free to play shooters. There is just no way that you're gonna be able to compete or be successful in that avenue unless, again, like I said, you have such an amazing game that word of mouth carries it through. Now, I don't know if that's what they're hoping for because right now, word of mouth is not looking very good for a Concord. And I don't really think it's gonna get much better, to be honest it's with over. you. But it, of course, time. Ah, oh, the Dreamcast guy. <laughs> Does it suck? Concord made out of you. Time will let us know exactly who's right in this situation. Guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, we had Sneeko, Penguin Z, we had a WrestleMania match that happened between them. A and yeah, bro, Moist Critical went so crazy. He says that it is perfectly fine for kids to cut their pee pee. Y yeah, I'm not sure if you've seen that or not. If you have already seen it, then okay, check out the video on the left. But if you have not seen it, man, you need to check that out.